Okay, I'm happy to say that I got my Unity shader uh, working pretty well. Here is the scene so far. Um, right now I'm just working on, if you can see the, uh, the square box right in front of me, it's a gray box. That's kind of like my test to make sure that the, the texture size um, in length and width is a uh, one unit because I'm doing precise like scene layout work type here and um, if you can look off to uh, just off to the right of that is the first shader the second one and the third one it's all the same shader I'm using instant shaders here and the cool thing about this the way I'm doing this is if I must say so myself is that I can adjust the color on it. So I can adjust the color on it. That's all dynamic. That's all done in a shader. And I could also adjust the volume, the density of it. So let's just say change this to 15. I can change the speed. So I'm going to make it real slow. So, once I start to laying out the scene, which is going to be later today, I've got the full capability to be able to change the colors if I want to. Or just change the size, you know, based on the uh, texture. So, over there, there's a larger texture that's in use, and it uh, doesn't look great and everything. But those are that's actually not a dynamic that's actually a plane over there and i just applied the, the uh, texture to a plane where that right there is a series of vertices and mesh that i created so anyways um and that's the big one and that's actually the same uh the same thing so anyways i just wanted to uh, show it off i'm kind of happy with the results and Next up is um, is actually building the scene, the model, now that I've got the texture that I can reuse. So, anyways, that's it. Nerd out.